So now you can trademark pretty much whatever the fuck you want in the US, right? I'm Andre Minkov, the founder of Trademark Factory, and in this video I'm going to share my thoughts about the outcome of the latest decision that comes from the US Supreme Court that dealt with immoral trademarks. This video is going to be different because I'm not going to be reading from any particular article because so many of them. I'm just going to provide my comments and then I'm going to walk you through a few new applications that are so easy to spot. So let's start with the decision. So what really happened was that it's, uh, in my opinion, the second part of the trilogy of what's happening with the US trademark law first. A few years ago, there was the decision about disparaging marks and uh, the US Supreme Court found that the provision in the Trademarks Act that limited or basically said that you couldn't trademark disparaging marks was unconstitutional. That was struck down and I said, great, because it's not the government's role to uh, tell people what they can and cannot trademark because disparaging is subjective and even if it wasn't subjective again it's not the government's role to tell people what brands they want to have uh, and then the second uh, in this trilogy again in my opinion a trilogy because uh, we haven't really seen the third part of it materialize yet but we'll see so the second part is what just happened now uh, is uh, strictly immoral trademarks they're not particularly disparaging of any particular individual or company or group. So immoral trademarks were just generally offensive trademarks. And I was also cheering for a decision that would say that the government should not have any role in making these decisions. And US Supreme Court just ruled uh, that uh, immoral trademarks can be registered and provisions of the Trademarks Act that said that they couldn't are unconstitutional and that allowed the company that actually brought this suit a while ago they tried to trademark fucked F-U-C-K uh, for clothing and USBTO said no so they appealed and appealed and appealed all the way up to US Supreme Court and now they finally won so I was cheering for it but as you'll see in a moment, uh, there's actually some unintended consequences of that decision. And we're gonna go through that in a moment. But I mentioned that I look at it as a trilogy. So to me, the third thing that's gonna happen is uh, legalization of trademarking brands uh, in connection with products and services that require licensing or that may not be legal because really uh, there is no difference from trademarking uh, pharmaceutical products that have not yet received the government's approval versus cannabis products, which is illegal on the federal level in the US. So uh, because the market really needs to regulate how brand owners in connection with cannabis uh, brands will be able to protect themselves, I believe that this is going to be the third uh, part of that trilogy, we'll see. But let's go back to immoral trademarks. So I've always held this belief that really it's not the government's role to tell people this brand is good and this brand is immoral. Uh, as long as the name can function as a trademark and as long as it doesn't infringe on previously applied for or registered trademarks, as long as it's not descriptive or generic, as long as it's not ornamental and all of those other things, uh, really the government should not have a say in saying, nah, you know what, some people may be offended uh, or it's too uh, gross or it's too whatever. Uh, it's not the government's role. And so from that perspective, the decision is great, but look at what I just found. So I'm gonna walk you through uh, a very simple trademark search 
on the US PTO's database. So let's do here. So we open their trademark search system and write my favorite word. Let's search for fuck. <laughs> uh, there are 416 records and uh, we're gonna go through the first hundred. And just for, for curiosity's sake, let's start with the last one. So the last, the hundredth one uh, was filed September 3rd, 2018. So just as the Supreme Court of US was about to hear that case, somebody filed this trademark. So let's go through the first 100 and uh, it'll, be, it'll be a fun thing to do. All right, so first, like the latest one is fuck off. Okay, what do they, what do they want to trademark? Let's see. So they want to trademark fuck off for clothing. Okay, so t-shirts, shoes, and sandals, right? Because who wouldn't want to wear fuck off sandals? Okay, <laughs> so uh, wonderful. Some Canadian corporation. Uh, what else? Get the fuck out. What do they want to protect under that wonderful brand? Uh, they want to protect uh, downloadable game software. Okay, so that's, that's, that, that should be a great game. Entertainment, entertainment services, <laughs> namely providing online games. Get the fuck out. Okay, I, I'm, this could be an escape game. <laughs> this could be an escape game. <laughs> Get the fuck out. So these guys are from Sweden. Okay. Uh, we got proud as fuck. Oh, and these, uh, they, they, uh, they didn't want to go too immoral, so they wanted the asterisk, right? The asterisk changes a lot. Uh, so, also clothing. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Uh, it's high as fuck. Uh, what does high as fuck do? Uh, they, what's the, what, what are the goods and services? Hello, I can see the goods and services here. So let's see here, uh, TSDR. Uh, goods and services. Oh, soft drinks. Okay, soft drinks. Okay, so the soft drink, high as fuck. Okay, what's so soft about it? <laughs> what? So, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's just uh, so surprising sometimes to see so few goods and services in the application that I'm always looking somewhere else. So yeah, uh, soft drinks, high as fuck. Okay, there's drunk as fuck. Actually, two drunk as fuck trademarks. So let's see, one of them is uh, for bottles sold empty. Uh, this uh, so owner is uh, the, uh, he's both the attorney of record and the applicant, Richard Sasso, okay? And he also got this drunk as fuck for soft drinks. Okay, so there, what else we got? We got Zen as fuck, so Zen AF uh, and uh, that was abandoned, interestingly. Uh, let's see why it was abandoned, what happened to it? Uh, it was refused, okay, it was refused. Hmm, so they filed it in August, they got an office action, and then they abandoned it. What was the notice? Notice, strict da 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 da, incapable, informational matter, uh, registration is refused, does not function as a service mark to indicate the source of applicants' services and to identify or distinguish them from others. Now that that stuff is probably going to be the reason most fuck-based trademarks like that are going to be refused because just because it's such a great name does not mean that it functions as a brand. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. What do we get? Oh, now this one is probably the craziest trademark I've seen in a long time because the trademark itself is this. The mark consists of standard characters, what the fuck, with a picture of a wedding ring without a claim to any particular font, style, size, or color. Now, I have no idea if this is a mistake or just trolling because Typically, this stuff, uh, wording like this, goes to the description of a design mark, right? So you would have a logo and it would require you to put some uh, description to say what the logo depicts. 
and this one is just filed as a word mark with this description being the mark itself. Now, I've never seen anything like that. And uh, so with some uh, LLC from Georgia that fucked it, uh, <laughs> it was some LLC from Georgia that filed this trademark and uh, they disclaimed the exclusive right to use the word fuck apart from the mark as shown in the trademark. So I have honestly no idea if this was an honest mistake or trolling. Uh, I think that if it was trolling, this would be a really funny trademark to have. Uh, was would be absolutely useless, of course, from the perspective of enforcing it, but it would be nice to have a certificate of registration that will say just that. Okay, uh, what else do we got? Well, great trademark, fuck you, okay? Uh, fuck you in gothic font for clothing, okay? What else do we got? We got fuck the population, fuck the population, uh, new trademark filed June 28th, 2019, okay, for basketballs and cube type puzzles, footballs. So who wouldn't want to buy a basketball that says, fuck the population, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it looks like a great brand for basketball. Uh, what else we got? We got FTP, um, also for basketballs, and that's their way of saying, uh, why, why was it found? So you may be wondering why this was found under fuck. So let's see. Can we find anything that relates to fuck here? No. So let's look at TSDR. Can this find anything relating to fuck? I'm not seeing it. I am not seeing mark information. Uh, okay, so see, that's the standard uh, character claim. Uh, this doesn't say anything, that's nothing. Uh, so that's goods and services, basic information, current owner, attorney, prosecution. This is weird how FTP shows up once you search for fuck. But this just shows you that using the official database of USPTO's websites to do trademark searches could be tricky. So let's keep going. There's another fuck the population, here's another FTP, here's what the fucks. There's sober as fuck clothing, self-made as fuck, fuck Jerry. Oh, that's a great trademark. So what this, I'm wondering what fuck Jerry is all about. So that's advertising and marketing, branding services, entertainment services, namely digital multimedia publishing services featuring online digital media in the nature of photos, videos, memes, and GIFs. All right, so actually this one, uh, fuck Jerry, uh, I think it's the first or maybe second after fuck the population in terms of it actually trying to be a brand. Uh, but let's keep going. Uh, fuck powder, I wonder what that is. Fuck tap, Bo boss as fuck, fuck it list. Right. That's a great one, fuck it list. Uh, Sales promotion, <laughs> so publicity and sales promotion relating to goods and services available online. So, where do you find information? Mm, let's let's use fuck it list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, there's fuck it list. No fucks given. Uh, stoned as fuck. High as fuck. Butt fuck. So let's see what butt fuck is all about. You wanna make a guess? Well, let's see. Bottoms as clothing for adults, men women, headgear for adults, men, women, hooded sweatshirts for adults, men, women. So who wouldn't want to wear headwear that says buttfuck, right? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's keep going. Another fuck the population, zero fucks. Oh, here's another great trademark. Fuck you, you fucking fuck. All right, so this one is for beanies, caps, being headwear, coats, right? So imagine you are shopping for a coat, right? It's winter, it's cold, you need a coat, uh, and you're like, what kind of coat do I want to buy this winter? I've heard of these great coats. Fuck you, you fucking fuck. Let's buy one of those. <laughs> 
So let's see. Um, fuck you, cat. Florida as fuck. Where the fuck is the... Oh, WTF. Where's the food? Fuck plastic. Fuck love, get money, trap house. WTF, fuck that. DYLF. I have no idea what DYLF stands for. Uh, okay, so... Dad, you'd like to fuck in English. Okay, well, maybe that's why I never uh, heard this abbreviation, because, yeah, I've really never wanted to fuck a dad. <laughs> so they're registering it for athletic pants, athletic shirts, and athletic shorts. Okay, this is great brand, I'm sure. Uh, what else we got? Fuck, I love you. Fuck, I love you at... Fuck I love you dot movement. Kit up. Fuck bitches get money. CJTFU. What does that stand for? Let's see. CJTFU. Are they, are they gonna tell us what this is about? Okay. Cowgirl the fuck up. Okay, so cowgirl the fuck up. CJTFU. Okay, this could be a brand. Um, what else we got? Fuck cigarettes. Dope as fuck. Back the fuck off. Fuck you mean. What the fox? Oh, okay. And this is probably the shortest and sweetest trademark of them all. Fuck. So all-purpose sport bags. All-purpose athletic bags. So, of course, if you want to buy a bag, it has to be called fuck. Right? So there's another one. Right? Another one. Uh, Eric Brunetti. Okay? So carrying cases for cell phones. Fuck. Of course. Uh, so, fit as fuck, fuck haters, harden the fuck up America. I wonder who that is for. Uh, International Holdings Property Limited. So, Australian company. The Australian company trademarks harden the fuck up America for toys, playthings, and games. Namely, board games, party games, and parlor games and component pieces thereof for use as a set and sold as a unit therewith for playing such games. Okay, so gotta be great game. So Australian company comes up with a game, Harden the Fuck Up America. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, fat Fuck Clothing. Okay, Shut the Fuck Up Friday. I wonder what that is from. Uh, educa educational, <laughs> educational <laughs> and entertainment services, namely a continuing program about criminal law accessible by radio, television, satellite, audio, video, and computer networks. So Craig Wasserman uh, from Solana Beach, California, uh, is launching an educational and entertainment <laughs> program about criminal law that's going to be called Shut the Fuck Up Friday. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Fancy as fuck. Uh, folks doing whatever the fuck they want. Shut the fuck up. Okay, let's see this one. Shut the fuck up. Um... Legal services. Oh, that's great. Uh, so, Craig, the same guy. Uh, not only is he going to have a show on criminal law that's going to be called Shut the Fuck Up Friday, uh, then uh, he's also going to offer legal services under the brand Shut the Fuck Up. Oh, it's actually filed on the basis of 1A, so it means there is use already. Let's look at the specimen. Let's, I'm really curious to see to look at the specimen. So May 2nd, uh, there, is a, uh, there is a specimen of use for shut the fuck up for legal services. Let's see. Uh, let's, let's see. So Pod Brothers sat law. Okay. All right. So shut the fuck up. They, they just put a uh, slogan on their website uh, for people on, their, on, the, on the law firm. Okay, so they got cannabis law, they got um, marijuana FAQ, so, and shut the fuck up. Okay, so for services, funny as it sounds, oh, that's all it takes to show use. You got to put it on the uh, website, and as long as it functions as a trademark, this could actually work. Okay, so 
obviously they're testing the system, but this is still funny. So let's go um, more. So eat, laugh, fuck. Okay, what well, this is about. Oh, this is providing online downloadable and non-downloadable electronic books in the field of erotic novels and short stories. Okay, that's, that's a good uh, summary of what those erotic novels and short stories are about, right? People eat, laugh, and fuck. Okay, let's keep going. Alaskan Thunderfuck. I'm really interested. Oh, that's action figure, a collectible toy figure, a stuffed toy. Like, um, I really imagine well how, let's say, a four-year-old um, comes to mommy and says, Oh, mommy, mommy, I really want to get this stuffy of an Alaskan Thunderfuck. Can you get me one? <laughs> that would be cute. Um, what else? Fuck your fashion. Uh, you fucking matter, all right? Fuck your feelings. Let's see what fuck your feelings is about. Clothing, of course, clothing. Um, what else we got? Uh, fuck you, pay me. All right, uh, that's shirts. Okay, what else? Uh, cowgirl the fuck up, already saw that. It's easy to give a fuck. It's, of course it's easy to give a fuck. Uh, it's for hoodies, uh, sweatshirts, all right. Uh, okay, fuck Prosecco, fuck Prosecco, fuck around. So these are for uh, mud flaps and stickers and labels, okay? Uh, fuck luck, babe, hang on tight. Fuck you neighbors, oh, I like that one. Fuck you neighbors. Uh, so this is bottoms as clothing, footwear, hats, headwear, t-shirts, tops as clothing. So again, um, it's, it's really easy to imagine somebody who uh, it's like, hmm, I really need a new pair of shoes. Uh, do I go for Nikes? Do I go for Pumas? Nah, I'm just gonna go for fuck you neighbors. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Uh, single as fuck, fuck it, fuck, uh, fuckaging, skin... Oh, it's not fuckaging skincare, it's fuck aging skincare. Okay, <laughs> fuck agent skincare. Uh, so, of course, it's beauty serums and uh, cosmetic preparations for skincare. Oh, fuck Prem, cold as fuck, fuck yes, fuck, fuck cancer, thunder fucks, fuck luck, fuck fake people, fuck it, let's go, let's see what fuck it, let's go is for. Uh, beanies, hats, okay, got it. Uh, fat fucks. Fuck aging, fuck fake, Reno is fuck, sophisty fuck, uh, always fuck shit up. Oh, I'm interested in this one. So always fuck shit up is also bottoms as clothing, footwear, headwear, and tops as clothing. All right, uh, what do we get? Uh, sick fuck clothing, Hawaii. Fuck being a baby mama. Fuck. Fuck vulgarity. Okay, fuck vulgarity. Let's see. This is for shirts. Okay. Uh, yeah. Fuck fear. Make love. Professional coaching services in the field of goal realization. Fuck fear. Make love. Okay. I can see it. Um, what we got? Fuck college. Okay. It's got to be educational services. <laughs> um, no. Uh, it's clothing. It's all clothing, all sorts of different clothing. Fuck college. Okay. Uh, fuck boy free. What is that for? Uh, bathing suits. Uh, women's clothing, namely shirts, dresses, skirts, and blouses. Uh, fuck on Kia clothing. Zero fucks. Actually, this one is pretty creative. Uh, zero fucks. Uh, and that is for uh, men and women apparel. And lastly, we got WTF button for talking electronic press down toy. Okay, so probably you press the button and it says, what the fuck? All right, so these are just the first hundred. Some of them are cute, some of them are funny. Most of them really will never function as brands. Uh, they were just filed for uh, fun's sake. And then really what they're hoping is that there may be some value in this application or registration if it ever gets there. But um, 
I think really the uh, next line of defense for the trademarks office would be to split all of these crazy applications into applications that show a genuine desire to use the brand to be recognized for particular products and services under this brand or not. And if they can show the genuine desire to have such use, then the application may be refused or rejected. Uh, but really, um, now that I think about it, if you get rid of those applications that are uh, definitively not about trying to build a brand, I don't have a problem with people using bad words uh, in their brands as long as they function as brands. And we have quite a few of them, right? Uh, the the uh, fuck Jerry, the, uh, you know, the uh, Zenith fuck, uh, the you know, fuck it list. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of funny ones. Uh, you know, harden the fuck up America. Shut the fuck up Friday for criminal law programs. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. So uh, there will be quite some amount of case law coming out of this because I'm sure that uh, USPTO will try to come up with a policy about what we're going to do about these and some people may appeal and it would go further up and we'll find out exactly how this is going to end. But uh, either way, I think that it's better to have this freedom for people to apply for any trademark they want, even if it's completely, <laughs> completely stupid, completely immoral, vulgar, or stuff like that. It's better for them to have this possibility than not. Uh, and uh, <laughs> as you could tell, I enjoyed creating this video for you. It was a lot of fun going through those crazy applications and uh, seeing what people are coming up with on the heels of the new decision from the U.S. Supreme Court. Now, if you found this video interesting or maybe useful <laughs> and you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now and get notified whenever the next video goes live. And uh, if you got a brand that you want to protect, whether or not it contains fuck or any other words uh, that are so near and dear to so many of us, go to trademarkfactory.com and book a call with one of our strategy advisors and they're surely gonna fucking tell you whether you need to fucking trademark your fucking brand, right? <laughs> okay, until then, I'll see you in the next fucking video.